know I fuck around and got that maternity pillow, right? When I tell y'all that has been, I slept. I went to took a nap yesterday, baby. Listen, as soon as my head hit the pillow, it was over. It's that nasty sleep. Baby, if you do not own a maternity pillow and you fight with going to sleep at night, baby, get you one. Baby, listen, that maternity pillow work. I'm currently sitting over here in my car because my friend is supposed to be moving and he only got an hour to unload the you haul and he playing. Him and his two sisters standing right there talking. I'm in the car. But, uh, I was supposed to be helping. I don't know what he want me to do. So, as of right now, I'm still sitting in the car. I ain't finna ask you more than once. Because, uh, we're not doing that. But today I am going to go to the grocery store and get me some porterhouse steaks and put them on the grill. That is what I'm going to have for dinner tonight. And I'm also going to drink me some wine because I didn't drink none last night. So, yeah, that's going to be what my day really consists of today. So, when I get ready to go to H-E-B, I'm most definitely going to take y'all with me because I think I'm going to H-E-B instead of Kroger because Kroger High. So, we're going to go to H-E-B. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much what I'm doing today. I am going to cook to tomorrow for Mother's Day. But I also would like to say Happy Mother's Day to all of the mothers that are subscribed to my channel. Um, to you and your mom, if your mom is still living and if she's not, we still going to wish her a heavenly uh, Happy Mother's Day. So I hope you guys enjoy your, your Mother's Day. Um, I'm going to be home on my Mother's Day. But uh, I'm not really going to complain too much. Hold on, y'all. So, okay, now I'm finally on my way to the grocery store to get my steaks to cook them on the grill. But listen, I think, you know, I see where people could go wrong with social media. Because some of y'all, you motherfuckers be reaching and don't even be knowing what's going on for real. But, but it's to be expected because got to understand one thing. Everybody point of view on something is going to always be different from somebody else's. Like, it, it, people may agree with your point of view, but then it's going to be people who don't agree with your point of view. And that's just how that shit go. And, and I'm, I'm fine, perfectly fine with that. But when you come on this motherfucker and you got a problem with the way I wear my lashes or, or the way I say something or the way I do something, get the fuck on. I'm not asking you to watch me. Baby, this is a free motherfucking country, and you took the time out of your day to stop by and watch me. Which means that if you don't want to be here, baby, you can exit left. I ain't asking. I'm not begging or asking your ass to sit at your TV or wherever you decide to watch me from. I ain't asking you to do that. Your opinion is your opinion. I've always worn lashes. I'm going to always wear them. So if you don't like the fact that I wear lashes or how I do my hair or whatever I may decide to do, fuck you. The world didn't stop because your, your, your opinion of me and what I, what I wear, that shit don't bother me. I don't give a damn about how you feel if you ain't found that out yet. But in really like five, almost six, I ain't ate nothing today. So I'm already knowing I really ain't going to be able to eat, but I'm going to eat. I'm going to get me something that's going to hold me over until I cook. So I'm going to have to grab something on the go that's going to give me that little push so I can eat. But I am going to eat, for sure. Um, and you can never go wrong with a steak off the grill, baby. It's something about that, that, that grill taste and that meat. Mm. My friend asked me did I want to go out to eat mm, not really because I, I don't want to go to a restaurant and then it, it's, it's already been raining 
Oh, and off. I just want to go get me a steak. Go to my house and cook it. Probably make me a salad with it or either a baked potato. And uh, roll the hell out. You know what I'm saying? Like, let that be my meal for the day. I don't even know if I'm going to stand up in the kitchen tomorrow and cook, but I say I am because I want to eat. Y'all, so I'm home and I'm seasoning my steaks for the grill. And they are juicy. Like that be my ending goal. Like if they ain't juicy, I ain't want it. But I took a shower after I got done with the grill because that grill be stank. And y'all know that smell linger for a while. And I ain't want to be smelling like that. So I cleaned up, cleaned up all of the dishes that I had used in the process of me uh, doing that to get his plate. I think he's gonna come before he go home, he said, and get his plate. Um, I'm probably gonna see him the other state home with him so he can give it to his daddy. Y'all know I be cooking so much, I don't be trying to hold on to food. May 16th, 2024. And I pay attention to dates when I buy stuff. Okay. This one a little bit further out. I have so many bottles of ranch. It's ridiculous. This one May 29th, so I got time. That other one said May 16th, so I wasn't trusting it. Um, what this one say? May 23rd, 2024. So I'm gonna um I use Italian and ranch. Comment down below if y'all like zesty Italian. Babe, I love me some zesty Italian. I even went to Sonic and got me some ice. Um, I am going to cook tomorrow, which I said that earlier. I stated that earlier to y'all. So because I know I'm not going to eat this whole steak, I'm just going to tell me something. Mm-hmm. 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 Y'all, that's it. That's the one. Put some number four over there. And like I said, what I don't eat, I'll send with him for his daddy. that stuff in there was in there before I even went on the road since December probably so all majority of them have to come out I'm gonna just take my time 
they're gonna start hurting. It's time for a fill in. But I ain't go this weekend. To be honest with y'all, I'm really trying to uh I I'm really trying to find me uh a new nail tech because I feel like my nail tech is just Baby, he just too damn expensive. Like, $165 for a fill-in? When he charged me that for a full set? No. I feel like he getting over on me. And I think he doing it because he know that he the only person I let do my nails. But that shit can change, baby. Because I'm not going to be giving you no $160 for a fill-in. And he don't even like to do fill-ins. He's got nothing for I put by him. I'm thinking about that right now. So yeah, he, he be trying to overcharge, bro. Like that shit, don't get it twisted. Back home, where I'm from, I only pay like $80 for my nails, if that. Cause I got the same nail tech I've been going to for 15 years now. You know what I'm saying? So what they charge out here ain't shit compared to what I pay home. Like what I pay home, they could never in Houston. Mm -hmm. That's the one. Mm -hmm. I'm finna go and get up out of here, y'all. But listen, y'all, I didn't even finish out the vlog from yesterday. Like, I cooked all of that food last night. Well, I did close out the vlog, but I'm gonna add this in too because my next video is gonna be a fashion overhaul. But um, I said it to say I cooked them steaks and stuff last night, y'all, and when I went to eat it, I couldn't even eat it. Like the weight loss, I don't know if it's because I waited all day to eat. So that way when I got ready to eat, I couldn't even eat it. But um so as you guys know, um, I was out with my friend all day yesterday. Um, I was helping him do some stuff with him moving and all of that stuff. So we was together all day yesterday. And then um, once I got home or whatever, he ended up coming over. And um, so um, he ended up coming over and uh, he took a shower here, I think. Yeah. He took a shower here and um, he wanted to go out last night. So. Uh, We ended up, hold on y'all. And so um, he came and we ended up going out because he was like, let's go out. I'm like, damn, I'm tired. Like I really didn't want to go, but I pulled myself together. I got up and I went. So we ended up going to a seafood restaurant last night and he was like, I never, I haven't taken you on a date yet, so let's go. So we ended up going on a date last night to a seafood place called Fat Crab. Um, it was pretty decent. You know, neither one of us had ate there before. It was pretty de decent. And then um, after that, we went to a park. So um, we could, we thought about going to the club but if I'm being honest myself, y'all, um, we just came to the conclusion that we didn't want to go to a club because we wanted to be able to sit down and actually talk to each other, you know, uh, get to know each other more um, outside of. Y'all, this nail is fucked up. Outside of all of the noise that go on in a strip club. So that's what we did. And it was beautiful, y'all. But. I didn't get not one picture, and I'm angry. Um, I genuinely feel like um, everything doesn't have, like, 
I ain't gonna say everything doesn't have to be recorded because y'all know I like to get footage in for y'all when I can. You know what I'm saying? But last night was one of those nights where I just didn't, I wasn't able to get it. And it's not that I didn't want to get it, y'all. I just forgot. Because, first of all, we didn't even leave the house until after 11 o'clock to go eat seafood. Um, <clears throat> and I just was enjoying the moment. Like, I wanted to literally enjoy the moment with him. Um, and that's what I did. Like, I just enjoyed, you know, him taking the initiative to even take me on a date. You know what I'm saying? So... Um, we went to the park. We we walked around this park. It was a huge park. Um, we walked around for about a good hour or two, maybe two hours. I wore my little heels, and I didn't get not one picture of myself. So hopefully next time um, I can get some pictures for you guys. I truly apologize. I did not get any. Um, I'm not even upset about it, but I see y'all about it. So I'm telling you now about it but um yeah so it was it was pretty dope i actually enjoyed myself um i was thankful for the experience y'all know i don't eat a lot no more because of my weight loss medicine so i'm really in here trying to give myself small portions of the food because i know i'm not going to eat a lot um i did cook today i ended up cooking pot roast um Macaroni and cheese, collard greens, rice and gravy, yams, and cornbread. Of course, it's Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all of the mothers that are subscribed to my channel. And I hope you guys really enjoyed your Mother's Day. As you can see, I did not visit home. I'm at, currently in Texas. Um, I'm not even upset about not being able to go home. It is what it is. I'm going to make my way home. So, um, I would, my plans was to actually go home this weekend. Um, when I came off the road, but I didn't get to go because um, my new job sent out emails last minute stating that um, we will be logged in tomorrow. Um, so I ended up not going home because I didn't want to try to rush back um, to be able to work. So I just stayed home. And overall, it was beautiful. But I do have um, a Fashion Nova haul that I'm going to give you guys because I ordered a lot of stuff from Fashion Nova. And I kind of think all of it is going to be too big. I tried on one of my dresses last night. It's the over overdressed dress. And I was like, ain't no way. But, you know, I, of course, I didn't want it to feel too tight, if that makes sense. So, um, I'm going to try it on with some heels. it's gonna fit um i truly believe i truly believe that i bought my clothes to be and guess what if i did buy them too big i'm gonna either see how i can get them altered or um send them back to fashion over and get the right size I don't know what I was thinking. Like, of course, I'm losing weight. So, I don't know what I was thinking as far as buying them damn clothes. Thinking that I get them in the size that I've been being. Um, you know, the big, white, big back wide motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So, I ain't mad about it. But, you know, I'm glad uh, I am losing weight, y'all. I had to remake my whole macaroni and cheese. The whole macaroni hit the floor, baby, and I was pissed. Good thing I had extra cheese in here so I can go back and remake my macaroni because it fell on the floor. It never made it to the counter. Gosh, 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 girl, I think Papa will buy some more fake about that right now. Mm-hmm. Mm. That was from my Sunday dinner. I know I'm probably not going to eat all of this, but I tried to put small portions on the plate, and 
I actually took a nap in the middle of cooking. I turned everything off and got in the bed. I was tired. Mm. That's it. I'm gonna have a little macaroni in there. That's why I can't unbeat this bag. But also, too, guys, I am about to get me a gym membership. So I'm about to start being in the gym. I'm about to become a gym rat. So we going to the gym because, baby, I'm getting this weight off. And I want to get it off, but I want to tone it at the same time. I don't want to lose it and it be flabby. Mm -mm. Well, I don't weigh enough for it to be flabby, but still, you know, I just want to tone myself. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm. And it's really the weight loss. It's the weight loss, goddamn mess. The bitch had me not eating. Um, I don't think it's really healthy to not really eat at all. You know what I'm saying? So, I still be forcing myself to take it. I haven't taken it today, but I am going to take it after I eat. Like, when I, you're supposed to take it an hour after you eat or an hour before you eat. So, usually I take it an hour after I eat just because I don't like to take medicine on an empty stomach. I don't care what type of medicine it is. I'm not taking it on an empty stomach. Even if it's Tylenol. I don't do it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's the one. So, yeah, I'm going to try to get this vlog edited. I think I'm going to edit it when I end this live. I mean, this, this part of the video. I can go ahead and get it put out because y'all I have so much footage in my phone from trucking that I have not edited. I've been struggling with, with editing. And y'all know usually I get my videos put out, but I've been struggling with editing, man. Mm-hmm. Them yams ago. Mm -hmm. I've been struggling with uh, editing lately. Like it's been really, really bad. Like I mean, that's why I ain't been getting videos. I genuinely been struggling. I'm trying to be better with it. I really am. I'm trying. So I'm gonna just try a little harder. But I gotta take a shower. I literally been laying around all day. I gotta take a shower. Y'all, this food so good. It's the maternity pillow. Y'all, I bought that goddamn, but well, somebody bought it for me. That maternity pillow, y'all. That shit been having me in the choke hole. You hear me? The choke hole. I ain't had no good sleep in a long time. And baby, every time I'm on it, it's over. Mm-hmm. I literally fell asleep on him last night. Mm-hmm. He was like, damn, you passed. You passed right on that, indeed. Mm -hmm. But 
That's all I can eat. I can't eat no more.